talked a lot about talc from an American perspective, but seeing as all these global makeup brands are now reformulating talc out of their products, I do want to talk about the European Union perspective on talc and cosmetics and why the European Union banning talc and cosmetics means all of our brands are probably going to remove all talc from everything for all consumers, not just American consumers, all consumers. I've talked about American brands and compliance with the FDA's MOCRA, so basically under the recently passed MOCRA Modernization of Cosmetics Regulations Act, companies now have to test their talc for presence of asbestos fibers. However, in the European Union, the reclassification of talc by the IARC as a class 1B carcinogen triggered the like internal wee wee alarms to go off and now they have to reevaluate talc to see if do we agree with the IARC it's a carcinogen can we should we ban it for makeup or is it safe as used in cosmetics i do just want to speak on the IARC's classification of talc because i don't i don't agree with them that it is a carcinogen i think the data that they show for talc as a carcinogen they use the study that showed the association between perineal powdering with talc and ovarian cancer i think if you were to recreate that study with any kind of powder you would find any association with ovarian cancer given the fact that inflammation is present and that is the driving force for carcinogenesis in that case. Inflammation is a driving factor for carcinogenesis in a lot of cases, but given the fact that that's really the only mechanism of action by which talc is carcinogenic, th that's what they're citing it as. They're saying like, oh, it can cause inflammation. That is a key characteristic of being a carcinogen. So, is hydrated magnesium silicate or talc bad on its own? Talc is fine. Talc, just, just talc is fine. However, the processing and manufacturing and like raw processing of that ingredient has a lot to do with the quality of it and the quality of it has a lot to do with if it's talc, right? And talc is fine, but talc with a bunch of other stuff isn't necessarily fine. However, talc is a mineral and there's like lots of little mineral particles that have a, lar a large surface area for absorbing oil. That's why it works so well in cosmetics. You can identify asbestos contamination in talc because it's just a different particle shape and <laughs> size. So is talc something that you need to be actively worried about? No. I actually prefer talc as a cosmetic ingredient just because it works really well. But I do think we're going to start seeing a lot of our global favorites going away soon because the EU was automatically alerted to, hey, we need to reevaluate this ingredient because the IARC has redefined talc's carcinogen class based off of this study.